My name is Hadley Grampton, and I have actually worked here at this gallery as a fine art consultant since, well, since 1999, but I've also been painting since 1999, and I, uh, I paint primarily on site, plein air, whether it be in the mountains or traveling overseas, and uh, this is a uh, collection of my work over the past year. So I would say that uh, this show is kind of a um, uh, representative of, of my COVID year. <laughs> when things shut down last March, um, I was, as, just like everyone else, feeling pretty anxious and f a little bit of afraid and things like that. And uh, so there's an aspen grove that I have visited several times over the past 20 years and everything was shutting down, I couldn't go anywhere and I headed up to this aspen grove and just being there, pulling out my paints, being among the aspen and starting to paint really brought me such peace of mind and kind of a feeling of purpose for um, the next definitely two and a half months I just went there. I couldn't go anywhere else and it was also almost sort of a uh, bit of therapy for me to get through that time. And then of course, as we all know, things started opening up a little bit more. And although I did continue uh, returning to that Aspen Grove, I also started exploring uh, to other areas of the state and then also surrounding states to paint uh, kind of more of the rock scenes that I do. So I ventured down to Zion, uh, especially Capitol Reef, and, uh, and then that's where these other pieces um, came from. And then as winter kind of came on, I started looking through images of past travels. Generally, when I have an exhibition, I'll travel somewhere um, overseas. I travel specifically to paint that area, take watercolors and ink and keep a journal and uh, paint on site as well as take photos and bring them back to paint uh, further pieces. But of course, with COVID, I couldn't go anywhere. And so I started uh, revisiting images uh, from all the, paint, all the travel I've done over the past 20 years, which was really kind of ama an amazing thing in itself um, to revisit not only the memory of those places, but perhaps where I was in my life. And I also started reading through uh, old journals I had kept and, and I, I kind of started wondering if other people perhaps were sort of doing the same thing because none of us could really go anywhere and travel and so maybe all of us were doing a little bit of retrospection in various ways. But uh, nevertheless, I went through my images and selected um, images from which I wanted to create new work and so the watercolors that I have in this exhibit while they are all painted within the past year, they are, uh, they encompass travel from the past 20 years, which is, um, I don't know, like I said, kind of really a, a, a fun, almost exercise to do in itself. I hope that um, perhaps within my experiences, people can relate to whatever they, in whatever way they can with what they went through. And other than that, just to uh, enjoy the pieces in themselves. I love working with color. I love working with kind of mark making, the energy of, of the mark making in itself. And sometimes letting the paint and the piece guide me rather than putting too much of my own thought process uh, to push it in a specific direction that I want it to go. It's sort of a really kind of a conversation between the two that makes the uh, the pieces come together. Um, I will say that the paintings on canvas, everything's done with a palette knife. Uh, the paintings on canvas are, are a little bit more controlled just because of the texture of the canvas, whereas the work on masonite, because it's a slick surface, it's a little bit more chaotic, but that also makes it, it's a little bit more fun and maybe even dangerous because things can get kind of go too chaotic too quickly. But as I said, that's sort of um, the fun of, uh, of, of working. And when I work on the masonite and create the uh, cliffs, it, it does feel a little bit like I'm sculpting with the clay. And so it somehow um, relates to the rock itself. That's kind of how I feel. Uh, so I have a lot of fun with that. Um, and then as I, you know, the watercolor uh, and ink is a different, very different approach. 
because it is, I am working with more a linear element being the pen, and then the watercolor, of course, is just a different process than oil. Oil, you can continue to layer you know, light on top of dark, whereas watercolor, you really have to go light, then too dark. Uh, you can't go back. But I love uh, working with both because it does kind of push my mode of thinking in those di two different directions. And then with watercolor, also, I love kind of, uh, and the pen, I love the gesture that I can get from it. And I feel that it really works well with these street scenes that are, you know, kind of capturing these, these moments uh, as people are passing through, as the light's changing. And, uh, and then, as I said, there, there are moments from my memories of these places. So I, I think that's about all I have to say on the work. But... I hope you can make it in to see the exhibit, and if you do make it in, I hope that you enjoy it, and um, I, I just would uh, really appreciate um, your time to see my work. Thank you.